that'll wake them up next door. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Hey, that is beautiful. Oh. Yeah, can you see the, if we, we're in hearing and it sounds so, so professional like. It is, it's, yeah. Can you see the difference he made then? Oh, it sounds a lot better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a hundred times better. Mm -hmm. Man. Well, it sounds that way. Sounds like a real piano. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this is him in classical style. This is more of Well, let's do, what do you think? Do you think, now that we're starting at 6, Roy's still going to come in at uh, about 6.30? Think he might make it on time today? Well, for, since we're starting at 6, he should be able to get here before. Roy. Roy. Roy always comes in later. Yeah. Yeah. We got to have that. Remember Roy, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, I went down to the Ohio Pro Life Action Committee. Yeah, yeah I wish you'd have been there. You would have. Uh, what was? What would you go to? Like a board meeting or what? Well, yeah, yeah. I'm on the board. I'm not the uh, board of directors, but I'm on the board. Mm -hmm. the, so I went in there and. and uh, they were with Ed Caspitas as the new executive director. Uh -huh. And we kind of had some differences of opinion on getting a heartbeat bill. And Ed says, you're not going to get a discharge petition. It ain't going to happen. It's only happened one time before. Well, we did that one time before. And uh, that was on the brain suction, suction of, you know, the brain suction abortion bill. And Ed was one of the people on that committee that got it out, you know, all of a sudden, he, what's happened, he's changed now, uh, instead of, you know, doing like he did then, okay, and uh, so they said, we have much better chance of getting a human life amendment passed, I said, look, look the personhood amendment, I says, do you remember when we put together Our, what's that called again? Um, yeah, I <coughs> um, it, kind of like Articles of Faith, but it's uh, yeah, but not the Articles of not, Faith, but, but it's uh, yeah. Our operation, the when we put together our operating uh, statement of procedures, the, yeah. yeah, procedures, mission statement, mission statement, yeah, mission. So we put together a mission statement. I said, you remember that? I was there when we did that. When I right to life did that all the way back in 74. And it said that we support all <clears throat> pro-life legislation. And, the, and I said, now whatever happened, ladies, to remember what you, your statements was, why can't we love them both? And all of a sudden, they were all looking at each other. Yeah. Yeah, whatever happened to that? Yeah. And uh, so then it got real quiet. And they said, well, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, we're not going to settle this here today. Uh, so, but then guess who walks right in? Uh, Matt Lynch. Mm -hmm. he, and Ron, uh, Ron Hood. For it. Yeah, they're the guys that, that have pushed, were, were, were there pushing hard for the discharge petition. And so, all of a sudden they got quiet and they, they didn't really give those two a, a chance to really get up and speak on it. As soon as Ron Hood, he was the main guy, got called away emergency phone bill, well, then they told Matt, Matt just got upset a few words and, and he had to leave too. But, uh, Anyhow, I told them, I said, you know, we're, uh, we've decided we're going to have uh, Dave Macko. You probably know Dave. He's, yeah, I'm on the radio. He's going to be, saying? I've known him for years and years and years. They've got one problem, and the problem is, uh, he's, Dave is, uh, 
You know, he really believes that men should do men's things, women should do women's things, and he gets very upset uh, with, uh, really upset with feminists, very. So sometimes he'll come across, uh, as they call it, like a, a male chauvinist. He's, he's not, but that's he's the way not, he is. not, but I know because I know, I've talked to him. And yeah. I'm, I'm against feminism too. Yeah. So, but, but sometimes you, you can just read that in him. Yeah, well, they say he's got, you know, what they say, he's, he's got no daughters. Well, no, he's got no daughters. In other words, uh, first of all, the man's never been married, you know. And, but he told me that, uh, uh, well, he, he loves women and just never could find one that would have him, I guess. So, you know, that's, uh, but anyhow, he's going to be, he's a libertarian candidate. He might be, I think we're going to endorse him. He's going to be speaking in the next meeting. He's pro-life. Oh, very pro-life. Charles yeah. Earl's pro-life, too. Yeah. Now, Charles Earl's running for governor, right? The Republican Party got him off the ballot. So what's he running for? He ain't nothing that he, he... He's still fighting at nothing. He got off the but they, they knocked him off. The Republican Party knocked him off. They didn't want to pull the Yeah. 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 Yeah, you got to have 60, we need 60 signers on, and we've got about 20. You need 60 Ohio House reps to yeah, sign it? Yeah, to sign on. To force them to vote. They've got to bring it to the floor and have a vote on it, yeah. Oh, wow, getting 60? There's only 60. There's only 60 Ohio House reps. No, wait, there's 99. you got to have the majority of these 60. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Because of the Ohio... Because there's majority, yeah. Yeah, the Ohio House Care Freedom Amendment passed and needed to pass by 60, yeah. and it got 59. Yeah, okay, that's right. Yeah, that's so we, so, and that's going to be pretty hard to do. It is. But Jan Porter, what's her little heart, she, you know, I was sitting there, and, I, and Phil Barris was sitting, Barris was sitting right next to me. I was talking, and he picks up his phone, and he holds it up, and he said, he calls me every day. Jan Porter, he says, I haven't talked to her in two years. He's so afraid of her, you know. And Phil, you know, I, Phil, what's wrong with you? What is, you know, she's, she doesn't listen, you know. Janice, she is awful uh, aggressive, but you have to be that way in today's world. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but she's really tender hearted, too. I've seen her get, she's cried and cried and cried and cried. And uh, when you know, because she's, she's worked so hard for those babies. Mm -hmm. One time, when she was living in Columbus, you know, she had that Porsche, and they set her car on fire right in her driveway. And the, the liberals did. And they burned her Porsche. Up. Well, we had, uh, after the meeting we had, we went to her apartment for like getting dinner over there for the Great Life Office. And you know, that's what she was saying before she got married and everything. She was kind of, uh, well, I think she was kind of afraid, scared still, because, you know, when somebody burns your car, especially, you know, a woman yeah. by herself. So she said, uh, listen, you're more than welcome to spend a night. I got plenty of room here. You know, you don't want to go. I said, yeah. Do you know what would happen if Planned Parenthood ever found out I spent the night here? That would be. They'd have that on every TV screen. That's all you'd hear. I said, I'd be much better off to bring you home with me, okay? Uh, and, because uh, everybody spent the night at my place one time or another, so. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that would've, that would've, no. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. They would be getting two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. Isn't there another way to force them um, to vote? Like, could the people do something or not? We'll remember in November. Thank you, Tar and feathers. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I really think tar and feathers is a, is a really on? good idea. I've worked very I'm well okay. With, uh, I mean, is that on? Yeah. Are you? Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, 
Mm -hmm. felt like uh, we just were the water take a long time though. <laughs> We could try something like that. I, I just think, come this, here's what we have to do come this November. We've got to show we're here. Because uh, Mitch McConnell said he's going to knock the snot out of every single Tea Party. And uh, now this is the mindset coming down. So we got to show them that uh, we don't much care for that. We can do that, you know. Uh, First of all, if we support Dave Macko, we can really get the vote out for Macko. Uh, send him. I can tell you one thing about Macko. You ain't going to get him to change his mind on a vote. And he's too old to be discouraged. And he, you know, Macko's 71 years old. Okay. For 70, I think he said he's 73 years old. And, uh, but, uh, I mean, he's been running for office for the last 30 years, 40 years. In fact, he ran, he ran for office. I think I had him on the radio program back in the 70s. And he's still saying the same thing. Who's he running for the position? He's running, he's running against Dave Joyce as oh. a, see, so that's who we'll, we're going to support him instead oh, yeah. of Dave Joyce. You get enough of the Tea Party people out there to yeah. support him. That has sent a real strong message. And you know what? Out of the three-way race, if he was to get the most amount of votes, if we could pull that one off, that would have really, you know, and then, so you don't have to vote for uh, a Democrat or the Republican. You can vote for yeah. the, because most people are registered uh, today as, a, um, as a independent. Unaffiliated. What is Macko running? <coughs> Independent? No, he's as a libertarian. Oh, libertarian. Now he, he supports us except for on everything. But the Libertarian Party yeah. platform, they had me, I went out and I spoke to their uh, statewide libertarian Ohio right. State. And uh, you had some guides out there because they're not pro life. No, it just, they're, they're mixed. And so you have these people come out, these guys were going to challenge me with a Bible. They had their Bible. And uh, that really it's turned out off. to be very interesting. Because I just turned them every which way, but this boy did I get them. I mean, we, this was, it was so easy. Uh -huh. And they sent me an award as being the best speaker they ever had. So, the Libertarian Party? Yeah. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, I, I mean, I just, I answered the questions, but the, they kept spouting things off. It, they're like, they were like O'Reilly, biblically I illiterate, know, talking know. about, so, but I had them this time. See, so when they made these statements, I just said, fellas, look, this is what God has to say about that. And, and I'm going to the Word of God. Boy, just, just okay. slapping them down. Yeah, I didn't realize he was running for what Dave Joyce is running for. Um, 14th Congressional District. Yeah, yeah. I'd vote for him. Also, you know, Bob May won, or Richard May won. Richard May is, is the 9th Congressional District. He's running against Marcy Kaptur. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. And uh, he's going to have to be a little more aggressive than he is. So on June 5th, He's asked me to come speak at his fundraiser. They're going to have a fundraiser. And, uh... Who is that? That's the main person. i Toledo. <coughs> no, that starts down with Toledo. Oh. Goes to, uh, what's down there by Toledo? Where the race cars and tracks that are at, uh... Oh, come on, you know, when you go to, uh... Down by Cedar Point. Sandusky? Yeah, Sandusky Raceway, okay. So you got Toledo, Sandusky, uh, all the way up to the west side, all the west side of the Oh, that's that one, uh, who's that, this Mar Marcy Capture? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they redistricted that thing. It's all along the lake shore. Yeah. From Toledo into the west side of Cleveland. So we're going to go and see if we can turn them out some votes.
What did you have for songs today? Whatever you want. <laughs> you got an almost new piano. Man, I'm so <laughs> we got an almost new piano and a and a tremendous piano player. Got a song about Jonah. Now her piano is in tuna. <laughs> oh, I got a song in my heart. Oh boy! I bet she's got a message about Jonah. How about story. four eighty-eight for today? My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Okay. Patriotic songs from Memorial Day. Okay, we'll start with 486, then we'll go to 488. I should know how to play the Lord's band band. And, out. and we'll, we'll end with 489. So, 488, 488, 489. Okay. Eyes have seen the Oh, say, can you see through the dawn early light? Oh, so proudly. You see now, you know, when we were talking about they had the, uh, first they had the twerking and then they had the truffles. Uh, you know what that is? Say that again, the twerk. They call it twerking. 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 Yeah. So my, that's what Miley Cyrus does. That's what Miley Cyrus <laughs> does. It's called twerking. All the kids are doing that now. That's, uh, I mean, they're doing it now. That's on the beaches and that. Yeah. And then they have what they call the was it uh, the thruff, thruffle? Thruff. Yeah, thruff, thruff. Thruff, thruffle. That's where you have three get married at a time. They're doing that now. They're making that legal, and, and uh, they've already started in Massachusetts where you can marry either uh, three males, three females, or one of each. Two simple males. Family, family dog, probably. Okay, but now they've even gone further. There's another thing, and I don't even know what this one's called. Yeah, the Bible calls it whoredom. Yeah. But it's where the girls go down to the, uh, where is it, in Panama City, Florida, and Cancun. Cancun, Mexico. Or spring break. Spring oh, break, yeah, but have the girls strip down bare naked, and they stand upon something, and they let the boys touch him any way they want, anywhere they want, and they do, and they video that, and they put it up on YouTube, oh, and that's what they're doing now. Oh, they're crazy. Can you imagine when those girls sober up? Oh, jeez. Uh, do you remember that woman, um, uh, the blonde that she used to play on Three's Company? Sus Suzanne Summers. Yeah, Suzanne Summers. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, she was saying. Now she's backtracking, but she was saying the one time when she came home, 
uh, she walked in and her 14 year old was showing his buddies an old porno flick of her, her, her in there. And she said, I was so proud to hear those boys say, boy, your mother is really hot. Now, since then, she's she's come back, she's backed away from that stuff, you know, and she's gotten older. But this is a sick world, boy. Uh, look at that, look at that, well, this is murder, though. That young guy killing all those, that was college people, too, that, that murder out there in California. Was what the latest one? I heard something about it. He would kill six or seven people. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he was, was the one that did the stabbing or the shooting? Huh? There was two of them recently. There was one that there was a stabbing. This was a shooting. This okay, that's the shooting. He had, the, he had money and all that stuff because he, he, he had a, a special, <clears throat> what, an MG or whatever, some fancy car. He was riding around, blasting away, shooting in this college town community. He mm -hmm. killed seven. He ran into a bike driver. The guy got hit so hard. Why the so hard? Listen to that. Uh, the bike driver went <laughs> through the windshield, smashed the windshield of his car. They think I think the report was they found him face uh, unrecognizable. I think he blew his brains out. But they they were shooting at him all the Every one of these kids are on psychotropic drugs. That's what we were wondering about that. And that's the first thing they do is they get them on that in elementary school. Mm -hmm. They know that sooner or later. It's going to go and do exactly the opposite of what it's supposed to. Yeah. They know this. But you know what? With liberalism, what is always the end result of communism? Death. Death, right. Death is always the final product. And it's insanity. There's, yeah. yeah, it's all insanity, you know? Jeez. Liberals are insane. Well, liberalism is, it's a, it's a form of demonic insanity, demonic dysfunction. Uh -huh. or, there's a psychologist I was reading about this. Well, no, he said that it's a mental disorder. Plus, Michael said, "Yes, sir." I refuse to listen to this stuff on the television. I don't want to hear it in the church. We didn't think you could hear us anyhow. Well, I can. And so can she. Well, I know that. Oh no, we're talking about how bad it's gotten out there. We already know that. Why do you think we're doing that, though? I have no idea. That's well, let me I'm tell saying. you to it, because that is a, a sign of the times that we're living in, and we need to be totally aware of what we're up against out there. I'm totally aware of it. You ain't totally aware. You don't even uh, aware where you're at. Okay. Well, here comes Annie Hall. Annie? Hey. 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 Hi, Annie. Hi. Okay. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> We're going to wear them out ready to get started here in just a minute. I'm looking for Brother Joe to be here pretty soon, too, because he told me he's coming. He'll protect my yeah. Well, yeah, it's not good for a preacher to be late, is it? <laughs> so we're going to start now that, now that Annie's here. <laughs> and now that we know you can hear, you can sing really loud. We're going to sing, we're going to let them know in that ice cream store next door. Amen. Okay. And we got some praying to do today for Miriam. Okay. She, uh, Tom, Tom left the message saying that uh, she might not be able to walk. You know, she's got problems with her legs. legs or her feet. I can't oh, yeah. Miriam, Miriam, okay. Mar Miriam Martin, uh, Martin. Yeah. and also Larry Nichols uh, yeah. is not doing very well. He just keeps hanging in there. So oh, praise the Lord, oh, man. And uh, he's been calling around everybody, trying to get enough money for uh, his medicine, you know, for his chemo okay. that he has to have. See that stuff, that, that treatment that they've charged him eighty-two thousand dollars. Oh, and oh, but but he now finally has managed with through some help to get mm -hmm. some insurance because you know Obamacare knocked him right off the rolls, but he's still caught. He has to pay the copayment of about seven hundred dollars a week. Oh wow! Uh, seven hundred dollars a week is a lot of money for a guy that can't work, yeah. and that's about all his wife makes. I mean, there's there's nothing left over. 
I didn't know he was married. He was married then, huh? Yeah, he's been married to Carrie for a long time. Larry's got uh, three uh, grown daughters. Oh, great. And a number of grandchildren. In fact, I ran in when I was, were you up with us? And, no, you were with me, yeah. But Jim, we were in, uh, where was it? Missouri. Yeah. We were in Missouri, uh, and uh, I was preaching a church out there, and I had this whole bevy of, of little 30-something-year-old women gather around me, and they were all homeschoolers, but they were also public school teachers. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So they, that was their ministry, as they all homeschooled their own children, but they wanted to, to bring the gospel to the public schools. Okay. That was their mm -hmm. that, as an outreach to that Baptist church. And the one girl come up to me and said, uh, you don't know me, but you know my father very well. And uh, she said, I know a lot about you. And I said, well, tell me. She said, well, I'm Larry Nichols. She was a very, very pretty girl. And she said, Larry hadn't spoken to me in six years at that time. Now you got them back together. Wow. But, uh, and you know, and you know why? Hillary Rodham Clinton, uh, she was the divorce lawyer. He got it from his first wife. Well, come on in, folks. Hello. Hello. We, we were just getting ready to get started. Well, you're going to hear some singing now, Brother Joe. <laughs> because we got a, our piano got tuned. And now we got a tuned piano and an in tune piano player. <laughs> so let's go to 486 in our hymnal. We'll let them know at that ice cream store next door that we're here. Amen.
folks to come humbly before you and we see healing in our land and see a change back to you. We thank you, Lord, again for your grace and mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. 488.
Oh, yeah.